Well, hey guys, um, I'm just gonna post a quick video here of my FX61. Just wanna show you where I have all the uh, electronics laid out and everything. I'm just about to go for my maiden, so. Um, so one thing about the Vigor servos that were in here, um, I had one fail on the table before I even got it out to my line of sight median. So I actually replaced these with the um, high-tech HS65 uh, Metal Gear servos. They are analog, which I understand is better for um, long-range FPV because uh, they don't give off as much or any um, RF noise, which is pretty cool. So I have my Dragon Link antenna coming down through here. Uh, it's just right along the spar. I put a little channel right here. You can see I have a little bit of tape over it. <clears throat> uh, this is the bottom of the antenna. Of course, the top sticks out from the top end of the wing. On uh, my servos here, I made a little E, um, this is the EPP, e, uh, yeah, EPP little ramp here, just so in case I land, if I hit something, it uh, won't strip out my servos. Same thing on the other side, of course. And I have my video transmitter coming through um, the bottom here. Along here, I dug out a little channel here. So uh, my servo uh, keeper here, and that's not focused, uh, but this is my 600 milliwatt um, surveil zone um, uh, VTX. And right here is the inactivity alarm, um, that right there. Uh, so if I don't touch the sticks for you know a minute and a half, it'll go off. And um, so it also helps out if in case I crash my plane and it still has battery power, it will it'll ring on me. So it's pretty cool. Now you might see this kind of glazy looking stuff right over the um, the top of the um, um, the center section here, the belly. I fiberglass this, probably the worst fiberglass job ever. I did it wanting to do the whole thing at the one time. I should have probably did it maybe in sections. Uh, it's a little bit bumpy in places, but it is rock solid, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this over. All right, so my video transmitter is coming through here. I've got my immersion uh, biro net antenna coming out right there. Uh, my GPS for the arc board is popping right out of the cabin here. I'll pop this open in a second. And there, of course, is my Dragon Link, the top part of my dipole. So I'm gonna pop this open here. Okay, guys, here we go. So what I have here is my two um, Multistar uh, batteries. They're four amp a piece, so uh, 8,000 milliamp um, of power running in a Y connector going into my current sensor. I have the uh, Eternity 30 amp ESC in the back here. Um, the thing only pulls 28 amps full speed, so I'll probably switch out to a 40 at some point. It's not that much heavier, and it's nice to have that little extra bit of uh, um, heat dissipation uh, on a bigger uh, ESC. All right, here is my arc bird right here, pointing forward. Got all my connections here. Going to my Dragon Link um, uh, receiver, which is down in here. Um, the VTX uh, goes through there, through here, into here, and then out to my camera, which is embedded in the front here, which looks down on that part of the airplane right there. So, uh, and it only have a little bit of an obstructed view on the very top. It has a bit of a curve to it on the side. So, okay. Last but not least, the motor um, is a 1,050 kV motor, I believe. Uh, yes, a 3536, so it's quite a big can, and um, I had the 1400 in there, and it was quite fast, and it's pulling a lot of amps, so I decided to go with a, um, a lower KV to give me a little bit more oomph, and I added a, one more inch to the propeller, so I had, I tested this out with a 10 by 7 and um, it was pulling a lot of amps still, so I went down to a 10 by 5 so that's what we're going to do our test with today is the 10 by 5 I think I've got pretty good separation between all of my components. I have my uh, ESC back here, which is quite a nice distance away from my flight controller here. Um, also my GPS uh, is coming out here, uh, far away from my from my uh, ESC. Um, and these are both my receive uh, antennas here. I'm receiving from my uh, Dragon Link here and receiving um, GPS information here and here is my transmitter which is a good three feet away if not just a little bit more three and a half feet or so um, so I feel like I have everything planned out pretty well uh, one last thing is I made this little bumper right here for my battery so in case I do crash and this these batteries slam forward they're gonna just run into this piece of foam here uh, which is kind of nice it also holds my CG exactly where I want it so sorry this is a little bit long but hey um, thanks for hanging with me guys bye Thank you.